300 people are wondering how they're going to pay their bills and support their families after finding out they'll be out of a job by the end of the year. Today, IKEA announced it's shutting down its manufacturing plant in Danville. Despite the news, local leaders say they're still up more jobs than they've lost. That news reporter Shane Dwyer is at Danville City Hall with a look at what's next. Brittany, for some here, this does not come as a surprise because they say the plant had issues making budget in the past. But what does come as a surprise is that it wasn't the labor cost that was busting the budget. It was the cost of getting wood to build the furniture here in North America. IKEA will call it quits with its American manufacturing experiment after a decade of operation. The company announcing it's closing its only North American plant here in Danville because raw materials were just too expensive. Local leaders say IKEA told them they could produce the same products they make here in Danville 70% cheaper in Europe. And unfortunately, it's a decision that must be made. Now, local leaders are in recovery mode to help 300 people who will see their jobs disappear. We actually are going to be on site at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, to, to have some continued discussions and to find out how we can we can best work with them to to find um, alternative placements for the employees that will be affected. The employees get six months notice and severance details are being worked out. The city says this facility is one of the largest of its type on the East Coast and they're reaching out to companies they've turned away recently to let them know of the new option. The city says that they still believe IKEA is a good corporate citizen through all of this and that the city respects the way IKEA has been treating their employees here on the ground in Danville. Now this facility is a union facility, but tonight we were unable to reach anyone with the union for comment. In Danville, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.